Hi, I'm AJ. I'm a service tech for the humidification department here at Armstrong. Today I'm going to show you the differences between our new EHU 800, which is going to supersede our EHU 700. One of the main differences you'll see is that the EHU 700 has a numeric LED display, whereas for the EHU 800, we have upgraded it to an alphanumeric display with a keypad. The components for the EHU 700 consisted of the main PCB board, current transformer, the contactor, a low voltage terminal strip for all your control wiring, and the 24 volt transformer. We have completely upgraded all the electronics in the EHU 800. As you can see with the EHU 800, we have simplified our electronics, starting with the main PCB board. We have integrated the current transformer onto the board. We have mounted the contactors and the terminal blocks on DIN rails. And we still have the 24 volt power transformer to supply power to the main board. With the new EHU 800 main PCB board, we'll have native Modbus communications. The new EHU 800 board also has a built-in relay contact that can be used for either a fan package or a remote alarm. If that contact is being used for a fan package, we have built-in logic into the main board to keep the fan running for an extra three minutes on a loss of demand. You will notice the EHU 800's tank is very similar to the EHU 700. That's because we brought that tried and true tank from the EHU 700 over to the EHU 800. The plumbing connections are located underneath of the cabinet. You have the fill valve and your drain valve. Out of the top is your steam outlet. Before starting up your new EHU 800, verify the voltage and the amperage rating of your unit based on your model. Also check that your fill valve, drain valve, and steam dispersion piping are all connected properly. When turning on the EHU 800, the first thing you will see is the Armstrong EHU and the version of code being used. The screen will default to the steam production, which is part of the humidifier status menu. Once the EHU receives a demand, the unit will start to fill. As the water rises in the tank, the water comes in contact with the electrodes. When that happens, the water acts as a conductor, allowing current to flow through the electrodes, heating up the water. As the water begins to boil inside the steam generation tank, the steam is forced out of the top into the dispersion piping, either to a fan pack or some type of dispersion manifold mounted in the ductwork. There is a high water float switch located behind the steam generation tank. When it detects a high water level situation, it closes the fill valve while the unit continues to produce steam. Now let's take a closer look at the display and all the information that the EHU 800 gives us right on the screen. The first one obviously is the steam produced. That's in pounds per hour. Scrolling up will take us to the actual current. Actual current is going to display to us the total current that the steam generation tank is using. Actual control signal tells us our voltage or amperage signal, depending on what control signal you are using, is coming into the unit. One of the major benefits of the EHU 800 and the new PCB board is its ability to use a sensor as an input. On this screen here, the EHU 800 would show you the set point and the actual RH percentage from the sensor. This screen here is telling us after a 72 hour period of no demand, the unit is going to go into a drain cycle. This screen here shows us the amount of hours we have left before service is due. Service on this unit just consists of checking the steam generation tank for excessive buildup of scale or any debris that might have clogged up in the drain. This screen here is the total hours of operation for the unit. And this one shows us the total amount of pounds of steam produced by the unit. 
This screen here is letting us know that the unit has a normal water level. The only other condition is high water level. This screen shows the actual power consumption in kilowatts. And finally, this screen is showing us the model and the voltage of the unit. And that scrolls us all the way through the humidifier status menu. For further questions, please see the humidifier installation manual on our website or consult the Armstrong Factory at 269-273-1415.